In this video, I want to talk about protection. As you know, Windows comes with its own protection, but some people just like to use their own firewall fire scanner. Just like me, I love Komodo internet security. Many people does. Only uh, we found out today that Komodo internet security is not installing uh, in Windows Build 10 to 40. And um, in this video, I'm going to show you uh, how to install it the right way. But I'm also going to tell you why it's not installing. Because some tongues on the internet, unknown of course, are saying certain things. That Microsoft security is not allowing other firewalls and scanners to run. None of that is true. Um, but what the problem is... Uh, as you could read earlier uh, this year in the news, Microsoft uh, will not allow uh, software to be installed on your Windows 10 computer uh, if it contains other software that can harm you or your computer. So why was Komodo Internet Security not installed? Well, the true reason why it was not installed and why Microsoft Internet Security uh, or the Security Center of Microsoft abandoned that file, you know, and did not accept the installation is because of the adware that Komodo adds into um, in, in their Internet Security virus scanner. So in this video, I will show you how to install it and how it will work 100% just like always. Komodo in fact does not have to do anything about the file itself. Only thing what Komodo should do something about is of course the adware that it delivers with its software. So Komodo just got to a point now where they can make the choice, you know, they would not take the advice from me in many videos ago when I spoke about this problem, you know, adding, you know, um, all sorts of little tricky things, you know, into the installer that people get, you know, kind of messed up with their computer, starting their homepage, suddenly everything is set to ask Jeeves. I mean, like, who is Jeeves, you know? So, um, yeah, this was the problem. Uh, with the Komodo installer file, it's not that Microsoft does not allow you to install. We do allow you. I mean, Microsoft <laughs> does allow you. I'm talking like my name is Micro. My name is Puck Microsoft. No, eh? uh, we do allow to <laughs> you to install a firewall scanner and firewall of a third of other branch, uh, second party. But uh, we does not want it to contain spyware because I'm thinking just like that. I don't want no file that you know. I'm going to use on my computer contains certain stuff that I don't know about because I'm not that smart to know everything what is written there in Abacadabra and that is being installed on my computer and so do you. That's why Microsoft said, you know, we must protect the users because having a system ending up with SGFs, you know, will let people say, yo, my Windows sucks, I hate Windows. That while they don't hate Windows, they hate GIFs, you know. But in fact, it was because of Komodo that set the that page to GIFs. So let's jump into the computer people and let's see how Komodo uh, should be installed the right way. Okay, welcome in my computer. So we want Komodo. So we're going to look for Komodo. Komodo Internet Security Free. So let me first show you how to get it. Always look at the address here, you see, komodo.com. This is the site of Komodo. That's where you should go. And don't start hitting download. Go all the way down. Look for free products. That's very important. Otherwise, after 30 days, it will say you must pay. 
so and here you download the free version okay so we're gonna let this download and as soon as the file is in well in fact we need one more little tool peeps and I'm not sure if I already installed it yes I already installed it it's called WinRAR so uh, let's go get WinRAR for you guys just type winrar.com or so no that's not what you need just type winrar.nl okay just go to my Dutch site this is better and then up here you can go ahead and download for the 32-bit version of Windows or the 64-bit version of Windows you see that top one here this one here 64 32 so when you have that installed then WinRAR will be in your system okay so it's in my system we have it and uh, I'm gonna let this download come in and then we're gonna show you how to install Windows uh, I mean Komodo Internet Security in Windows 10 and this is the only way how you can install it there's no other way as I already told you just now uh, Microsoft does not allow uh, any spyware to be installed on your machine or you should be so um, willing to install that spyware but if it's up to Microsoft it won't be installed come back the file is in so we can go to our downloads let's go to downloads and let's say show downloads and there it is lots of apps there so let's copy it to my desktop taking a while so there it is I had a lot of files uh, in my uh, so there it is what we're gonna do is we're gonna right mouse click this this uh, file we're not gonna install it we're gonna right mouse click it and this is the only way how to install Komodo in, under Windows 10 okay we're gonna uh, unpack it into the same name and folder there so it's gonna make a folder called uh, the name of this app and it will unpack it and I won't do the normal install to show you that it goes wrong that would be really stupid because you already know that it's not going good otherwise you would not be watching this video so what we in fact do peeps we unpack it and you will see that the unpacking will also go kinda wrong at a certain point Well, it went right. So what we're gonna do? We're gonna go to Sys here and to Download Installer and then to XML Binaries and then to Sys again. And what do we find here? We find a lot of files, and we see here the Sys setup x86 and the Sys setup uh, uh, x64 x64 is for 64 bit machines and this is for 32 bit machines this is a 32 bit machine even though it has a 64 bit processor the operating system I choose for is 32 bit and now we can go ahead and install this and you will see that this is a straight up install without any uh, as jeeves and rubbish and that all is out so this file is allowed to be installed uh, under Windows 10 because this does not contain anything that can harm your system so this will install fine but the other apps that are also in here you know the installer comes with a lot of apps eh? I cannot even find them here installer data it comes with a lot of apps 
a lot of uh, extra little tools and uh, yeah these are seen as uh, suspicious you know and Microsoft don't allow that anymore so you know companies are just warned now by Microsoft I think if you want to install power ISO the latest version it will also not install because of the spyware in the yeah in the software that is delivered with it and I'm not sure about that what I'm saying now but that is the way that we're going to uh, all uh, software that that will be delivered with adware uh, will not uh, be installed or will not be allowed to be installed under Windows 10 but as you can see uh, Windows 10 has nothing uh, against Komodo internet security itself um, yeah some people on the internet are saying yes uh, security center and uh, the virus scanner of the built-in virus scanner of Microsoft Windows 10 does not allow uh, the installing of Komodo internet security all that is not true um, it's allowed but not with the adware and uh, yeah as you will see this installer will go just fine and uh, everything will be installed just the way a virus scanner and firewall should be installed no extra yeah things that are not yeah meant for the yeah for the operating system not meant they have nothing to do with 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 Komodo internet security you understand if a, a start page is being set to S to Jeeves and all search engines are set to Jeeves you know that can be really really annoying meaning that everything that you're looking for on the internet will go via Jeeves I mean like why should people suffer so much to you know only use this piece of software isn't it not already uh, fantastic that uh, people are using this software you know even though it's free many users are using it and uh, you know they all like to use it but it must not contain any rubbish and I don't know how you guys gonna make money with the free version because uh, as you could see this installer contains nothing that yeah is or can harm the computer we're gonna stop this no need to go scan my computer go away what you should do is um, no I will respond what you should do is fix this but um, you can see that the firewall is working fine and we're gonna test it once again in this video as well just to see if it really works we're gonna stop all internet network activity on this computer and we're gonna go to Internet Explorer and we're gonna hit the home and we see that we have problems here connecting to Google and soon we're gonna get a little triangle in here saying no internet access but as you can see there's no internet access here and that's because we shut down the internet from off the firewall so this is a sign that the firewall is working okay so in fact peeps um, what we now must do of course is uh, upgrade you know database is not uh, secure so it's gonna update and it's gonna download and it's gonna download about 233 megabytes um, yeah virus database uh, signatures so these are a lot so this is also coming on top of the installation just think of it if we had installed the whole uh, 220 megabyte file well not all would be installed 165 of it would not be installed because that is the 64 bit installer as we could see when we went into the folders so in fact it's uh, um, yeah not uh, not like a hundred megabyte uh, other software that it's uh, delivering as I said in my previous video I apologize for that um, 
the files are packed and uh, we have two big installers one from 102 megabytes that is the x86 installer and one from 160 megabytes that makes a total of 260 something megabytes and the file that we loaded uh, downloaded was only 220 megabytes so the file was packed you understand so yeah the other apps that have been added are probably not so big but still uh, they were um, they could harm the system and uh, yeah windows will not allow that so um, yeah let's go back to the studio cause I think you know more than enough now peeps and so please companies think about that if you're putting out freeware and tools for people to use and you want them to uh, you want the people to keep using them under Windows 10 then thou shall not insert spyware, adware or nonsenseware. Peeps, this was Puck from uh, the Netherlands. I want to thank you for watching. Of course, if you think this information was useful, and I'm sure it was, you must give this video a big like. Of course, subscribe, tell me your story in the comments, and let me know what your favorite virus scanner, Seiku Firewall is.